enough fooling around it's it's really time to fix this tire By the way, you guys know that I hate working on tires, right? I always, uh, I always seem to kind of smash a finger or two. And I had a friend once with one of these, he was working on the tire and he caught himself in the tooth, chipped his front tooth. So once again, I hate working on tires. So what I'm trying to do here is go through some of the things I've learned, kind of how you tuck the bead in with your knee. This is a nice tire to do this with, very, very um, <laughs> low ply, not, not too many, uh, not too hard to kind of stretch to your will, so to speak. going on fairly easily. I've had some of these they just um, they just fight you the whole way. By the way the tire had water in it so I soak you know I soaked it up with the rag. You want to clean the bead up the best you can. I already cleaned it up on the tire. Got a little rust here. Hopefully, the rubber cement kind of seals that up. So, I think I got it as good as I'm going to get it. So, this is kind of my secret ingredient to the Big Mac sauce, right? buy this stuff either when it's on sale you know coupon out of one of the little places Walmart I also find that the bigger containers it's kind of easier to get it get a good scoop of it on the brush so to speak you wanna not be too cheap then you kinda back off let the whole thing get a little tacky You guys aren't looking at my bald spot, are you? I have a younger brother who has a lot less hair than I do. So, that's always been fun, you know, family events, teasing him. 
you know, come on outside, I want to signal some airplanes, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, don't look at my bald spot too closely. Many of you know and already use this technique, but if you put a ratchet strap um, or a rope or something around the tire, the center, and you use that to kind of push it out, most of the time it seals so much easier when you attempt to air it up. Right. It also sometimes helps if you uh, start out with a full tank of air and you get the air valve out of there and you really kind of blast it. Um, you know, unfortunately working on tires is like a bunch of techniques. And one of them you find works well for you. I'm going to be... This is going to fight me a bit. I think I might end up having to pull the valve. It doesn't seem to be grabbing. I might have it now. Okay, I'm going to finish airing this up, and we'll pop it back on. So, it did not seat, and it was fighting me. I ended up having to take the valve out, right? And once you do that, I, I have a hose set up. This is an old um, threaded... Um, Schrade valve uh, chuck and it um, goes directly into the air supply and then I have a valve on the uh, compressor so when I take this off it's, um, it's going to lose some air but I'm going to quickly put my finger into it and then put the valve back in By the way, if you let, let it go, as I just did, you can see they do like to fly a little bit. There you go. Fortunately, I still hear air leaking out of it. Which is not a good sign. Hopefully it has sealed. This is one of the reasons why I don't like working on tires. They like to kind of fight with you and make life difficult. Whistling. Oh, that might have it. No more sounds. There we go. Right, you guys, I think you can kind of see the reflection. I don't hear anything else. I guess I could put some water on it and double check, but I think we're going to stop here. I'm just going to bolt it back on, and we're about done. So I hope you guys 
enjoyed this tire change I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and uh, uh, subscribe um, I do like to show these things once in a while because frequently I'll get a comment where somebody will say oh I started using this or I started doing this or I use this kind of tool now and life is so much easier so um, I do like hearing that also sometimes I'm like using rubber cement if somebody has something better I said I will take that suggestion and so will all the other people who comment so once again feet down heads up thanks for watching commenting and subscribing bye now